Pristine peatlands are living and important ecosystems. Most of the peatlands of the Northern Hemisphere have developed since the last ice age, approximately 10 to 12,000 years ago. In the Southern Hemisphere, they can be even older. Peatlands start to develop when ground or rainwater collects on dense, poorly drained soil. A virgin peatland is over 95% water. Peat begins to develop when plants on the surface decay only partially. Water and lack of oxygen slow the function of microbes that cause decay, thus helping peat develop. Sphagnum moss is one of the most common plants that produce peat. Other important peat-forming plants are sedges, grasses, woody plants, shrubs, many other mosses and common reeds. The top layer of peatland has living plants on it. Beneath it, we find dead and decaying material. The change is gradual and especially with mosses, it is difficult to establish the borderline between dead and living material. Peatlands can develop in three different ways. Firstly, peatland plants spread onto land immediately after it is revealed from under ice or water. This still takes place today on the eastern coast of Canada, in Sweden and Finland, and in the White Sea region of northwestern Russia. Secondly, peatland plants spread onto surrounding forests or mineral soil and may slowly suffocate trees and other plants. Thirdly, peatland forms when bodies of water fill up. A lake or pond can fill up from the top or bottom or from both directions at the same time. This animation shows the development of Estonian peatlands after the last ice age. This course of development started about 12,000 years ago and today peatlands cover 22% of the territory of Estonia. Peatlands also can be classified according to their water source. Ombrotropic peatlands, which get their moisture and much of their nutrition from rainfall, are dominated by mosses and often reach several meters in height over the surrounding land surface. Mineralotropic peatlands, situated in depressions and dominated by sedges, reeds or trees, get their moisture and nutrition from the ground and surface water, and from rainfall. In nature, we can also find combinations of both structures. Pristine peatland is a continuously growing natural resource. Over the span of thousands of years, peat grows at an average 0.5 to 1 millimeter per year. The speed of growth varies according to climate and weather. During dry summers, peat accumulates at a slower than average rate, while during wet summers, peat accumulates faster. In terms of thickness, peatland growth can be compared to the different stages in the life cycle of forests. At the beginning of its life cycle, a peat layer can grow relatively fast in thickness like a young forest does. As the peat layer becomes thicker, growth slows down due to anaerobic decomposition processes inside the peat deposit.